super magnets have been fascinating me for quite a while. But now I'm starting to have my doubts. Is that neodymium magnets really a 300 pound force magnet? Is it even worth putting it in a box and protecting it? It's time to test this thing or break it. Is it really a super magnet? Let's find out. Here we go. For this test, we're going to use this luggage carrier that I've verified does about 60 pounds. I have no idea how much a manhole cover weighs. You'll see the paper plate. The whole idea of that is to help it so I can slide it off. Super magnets are about being vertical. Any sideward force, we it's just not verified for that number of pounds. So let's give it a shot and see how it goes. Super magnet against manhole cover. Pulling. Okay. I'm reading 71 pounds. So 71 pounds worth, good to go. I've mounted the super magnet onto a steel plate onto my climbing wall. Four screws, just like that. Let's go over the test rig. It's climbing gear. This is so that folks have something to hold on to. Thousand pound webbing. The stand is just simple, it has a carabiner, an eye hook, it's a bucket top with a piece of plywood and an eye bolt that goes through like that. And just made sure I it was laying flat, not on the screws. So I got it close and then it just tracked ready for testing. I'm gonna use this average scale to weigh the amount of weight that's gonna be put on the system. So this rig weighs 1.5 pounds. The first test subject weighs 86 pounds. So with the test rig, it will be 87.5 pounds we'll put on the magnet. Here we go, 87 and a half pounds. And the magnet is still holding. This time we've added 15 pounds to the rig. 16.5 pound rig and 86 pound pounds, so it's 102.5. Still standing. 108 pounds on the rig. Holding at 108 pounds. Now we've added 10 pounds to the test subject. 122.5 pounds and holding. I sense we're entering dangerous territory, so I have our test subject wearing a helmet and we have a crash pad just in case. 127.5 pounds. Yes! <laughs> Did I get a 350 pound force neodymium magnet? This one doesn't qualify based on the test we just ran. I was getting ready to wrap up the video and quite frankly I was very disappointed because the magnet was failing and it was supposed to be a 350 pound magnet. So I went back and looked at the specs on how they tested it. And they tested it not with one sheet of steel, but the equivalent of half an inch of steel. So I went out and I drilled a whole bunch more of these plates to truly give this a valid test. And as soon as I put the magnet on it, I could tell there's a big difference. I've redone the test rig, added another bucket top to it to make it a little more stable, put the wood inside, and a couple more carabiners for folks to hang on to. The test rig itself weighs two pounds. I weigh 173 pounds. So if I clip this on here, and I also lowered it down so it's not so far away from the floor, that's 175 pounds. I'm gonna use the climbing wall to get me up. 175 pounds on this super magnet. And it is becoming very much a super magnet. For this one, I've added the 15 pound weight, so that will be a total of 190 pounds. 190 pounds. Okay, so I'm gonna put 10 more pounds on. Okay, here we go, straight 200 pounds. 200 pounds. I'm gonna to try to go in 10 pound intervals. Just 210 pounds. 210 pounds. 220. Here we're going for 230. 230, going for 240. God, tell me, step on it, you're gonna be good. 240, this is 255 and I'm running out of weight. 255, okay, I think we're getting towards the end here. This is 260. 260 and still holding. is where it broke. Based on half inch steel plate, which is how they test these things out, my 350 pound magnet 
Tested out at 260 pounds. Do I feel ripped off? Not as bad as I did when it died with one layer of steel and two, 127. Thumbs up and comments always appreciated. Thanks for watching.